In this example, we're going to use a double integral to find the area of the region bounded by y equals x squared and y equals 2x plus 3. Okay, so over to the right here, here's we have the graph of x squared, which is in blue, and the graph of y equals x uh, y equals 2x plus 3, which is in red. Okay, so let's uh, before we set up the integral, let's go ahead and first find the bounds. Okay, so we can do that algebraically. Okay, so let's find the bounds. Okay. So we can do this by equating the uh, functions equal to each other. So this is going to be x squared equal to 2x plus 3. Okay, so we're, we're going to get x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals to 0. Okay, so this is um, factorable. So this is going to factor as x minus 3 times x plus 1. So this is going to give us x equals to 3 and x equals negative 1. Okay, so those are our boundary points. Okay, All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mark them on here. So we have negative 1 here, x equals negative 1. Okay, maybe I should use a different color. So let's see, I use green. So this will be at negative 1. And then over here, this is going to be at 3. Okay. So for this, uh, for this integral, let's take the, uh, let's use a vertical represented piece. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to draw in there. A vertical piece. Okay, so that means this is going to be in terms of, right, this is going to be um, dx. So that means we want dx on the outside of our inter integral. Okay, so the area, okay, so using this formula that you see in the yellow box, okay, so we're going to have the integral, okay. Uh, we want dx on the outside, so that means we're going to have dy inside, okay? So for the bounds, okay, so for the inner bounds, okay, so we have 2x plus 3 on top, okay, and x squared on the bottom, okay? So for our bounds, okay, this, for the inner bounds, it's going to go from x squared to 2x plus 3. Okay, and then for the outer bounds, okay, since we're using a vertical represent piece, okay, this is going to go from minus 1 to 3. Okay, so now valuing that, that will give us our, that will give us our area. Okay, so let's first evaluate uh, the integral of dy from x squared to 2x plus 3. Okay, so we're going to have integral oops, from x squared to 2x plus 3. Okay, we're going to integrate that with respect to y. Oops, sorry. It's just dy. So that's going to give us y. And then evaluate from x squared to 2x plus 3. Okay, so just plugging that in, for y, we're going to get 2x plus 3 okay, minus x squared. Okay. All right. So now we're going to integrate, okay, uh, we're going to integrate this with respect to x, okay, and then evaluate from minus 1 to 3. Okay, so let's do that down here. So we're going from minus 1 to 3. 2x plus 3 minus x squared. Okay, so that's going to give us, okay, so we're going to integrate term by term. 
So you get, for the first one, we have 2x squared over 2, so that's going to leave us with x squared. Then we have a 3x, and then minus 1 third x cubed. Okay, and evaluate this from minus 1 to 3. Okay, so now let's just, so the rest is just algebra from here. So we're going to get 3 squared plus 3 times 3 minus 1 third times 3 cubed. So that's for the for the upper bound, and then for the lower bound, we're going to get, uh, so we get minus 1 squared plus 3 times negative 1 minus 1 third times negative 1 to the power 3. Okay. So this, okay. Okay, so this is going to give us 9, and over here, this is going to simplify to be minus 5 thirds. Okay. All right, so we get we end up getting uh, nine plus five thirds. So that's going to give us thirty two over uh, thirty two over three. Okay. And if this was an application problem, then this would be units squared. All right. So that's the solution to our. Uh, to the re to the that's a solution for the area of this bounded region.